will move over next to the Ethereum ecosystem, which is already looking forward to its next de- next development after the merge, which occurred about eight weeks ago now. Adam? That's right. Yeah. So since the merge was completed, although there's no timeline yet on when this will happen, we do know what's expected in its next major upgrade. Notably, the Shanghai upgrade, as it's known, is going to let folks withdraw Ether that they've committed to the consensus system or earned as a reward for their participation in it to their wallets for the very first time since the proof of stake system started public testing more than a year ago. So it's actually kind of an interesting one from a dynamic standpoint, because it could be unlocking a decent amount of supply that's been tied up there and also some rewards that have been earned. So although that headline withdrawal feature is the one that we know about, there are actually a number of other developer-focused initiatives that are being considered for inclusion. We don't know when this thing's going to happen. We don't know exactly what's going to be in it. But that one feature on the withdrawal, that could wind up being important. Given how, I think the, the other thing to note here is that given kind of how uh, how much kind of time and energy and to a certain extent like drama and anticipation came around the merge, this next upgrade seems like it's going to be significantly more boring in in a very positive way, I think. Will, I'll kick this one to you to start us off. Yeah, I love what you said there. We don't know when this is going to happen, but it's really important. I think that sums up a lot of the Ethereum (laughs) ecosystem and things they're working on. Uh, It's a huge network. There's trillions of dollars used on top of it. And it's moving stable coins, flipping NFTs, flipping DeFi tokens. People want it and they want it to be better. And that's what some of these upgrades do. Proto Dink sharding is one of the inclusions for this this next upgrade, possibly, which is yes. One of the greatest names ever for any sort of techno uh, widget out there. Proto dank sharding for uh, the memories there. Pretty great (laughs) phrase and pretty important for the Ethereum ecosystem. It's going to enable large scaling, about 10x more transaction data on top of the network through a pretty novel way of sampling how many transactions are going through the chain and verifying those transactions are actually occurring and that they're being stored correctly and that there's nothing evil or malfeasance going on. Uh, But on top of this, the most important thing I think for the network and for people is getting their ETH out of the system that they had staked for the better part of two plus years. Uh, People want to get their ETH back. They want to trade it. They want to earn a little bit of the rewards that they've had for the last few years. And they also probably want to sell into USD the ETH that they staked. If you staked ETH back in 2020, well, you probably have like a 2x gain in USD terms on top of that ETH. So I think a lot of people want to get out and then flip back into USD and earn that profit. Uh, It's also just important for the network as well. This is the next step for proof of stake is enabling withdrawals. You shouldn't just be able to put money into it and have it sit there and earn rewards. You need to be able to pull it out. Otherwise, the whole system doesn't work. So this is a pretty big upgrade. Again, we don't know when it's going to happen, but the fact that they're moving on it is notable and important. They got the merge done so they can get this done is my takeaway. Wendy, over to you. A couple of things I want to add. Again, I'm not the most tech savvy person. And if you're listening to this or watching, you don't have to be the most tech savvy person either to participate in crypto. So some interesting things here. The merge was actually pretty seamless. From somebody that doesn't know anything about tech, it was nice to see how seamless it was. There wasn't any hiccups. There wasn't any problems. So that's good for mass adoption. That's good for people who are interested in crypto and feel like, oh my God, I don't know how this is going to work out. I'm not smart enough to participate. So this is a positive thing. The next thing I want to say is if you're somebody who is invested in Ethereum, I would pay very close attention and follow the story until it actually gets executed. Why? Because this is going to impact the fundamentals. If people are actually able to withdraw rewards, they're they're is a big possibility they may be taking profit that could impact the price of Ethereum. Will it move the market? I have no idea because I don't know how much is locked up. Another important thing is the people that have staked Ethereum for quite some time, they're probably very much so itching to remove that Ethereum and put it on cold storage if they plan on holding it. Why do I know this? I pay very close attention to my mentions on YouTube and on TikTok. And a lot of people are like, oh my God, I staked my Ethereum. You know, when Terra Luna was collapsing with all that volatility was happening, people are like, oh my God, I need to take it and put it on cold storage, but I can't do that. So I think we're going to see a lot of people removing and putting it on cold storage or taking profit. So again, if you're invested, I recommend, not financial advice, to pay attention to that date because it could impact your long-term investments. I dig it. I dig it. Adam, any closing thoughts on that? 
No, I think that's good advice. I think, again, like, you know, this isn't that interesting a story. It's just important because Ethereum is important. And so anything that happens to Ethereum winds up being important again in our world. And again, like in the contrast between the top two tokens, you've got Bitcoin over here where development moves very slowly. It's very much about just making sure that nothing is ever going to break. And as Wendy said, it was impressive to see the merge go through because that was a massive change on the scale that I don't think we've ever really seen before on a top, on a top like, uh, you know, valued uh, blockchain, uh, you know, changing the fundamental engine of the thing in ways that were very controversial uh, and where it was very unclear. The next thing that I am really looking for in terms of like something that's important and something that's also risky is this proto dank sharding, which I just had to say. Um, proto dank sharding, again, the idea of sharding is really the idea of taking what is a unified ledger, a unified list of all transactions that happen and splitting it into multiple pieces so that the whole network doesn't have to be aware of everything that's happening. And that is, on the one side, totally necessary in order to really scale these things to millions and millions of users at, at you know one time. And on the other hand, it's another thing that nobody's really done before at scale well uh, you know, and and we just don't know what's going to happen. So it's super important. There's also a ton of risk around it. They should not rush it. And it seems like they're not likely to rush it. And I really, again, like, you know, I'm more impressed with Ethereum development as time goes on because they seem to be doing this stuff in kind of maybe not like the safest way that that you could in a hypothetical situation. But in the real world, I think this is pretty pretty much as close as you get. So I'm happy to see it.